This is a package that just came for me today. And no, I know you were trying to find my address. You're trying to stalk me, aren't you? That's creepy. Stop that right now. Welcome to the video. If you are watching this video, you already know what's happening. Um, we're gonna unbox this package right here. That came to me and I'll explain why I bought this thing in the first place. I opened it up from the bottom. First of all, hope you guys had a good new year. If you're watching this right now, it's actually 2023. I'm filming this in 2022 right now. Right now we're unboxing the on track whole bag. Take a look at this right here. This is what it's gonna look like. I'll explain why I needed this bag. We'll take a look at that in a second. And then, oh. Um, okay then, that's, oh, um, first of all, this video is not sponsored, but second of all, I regret buying this. I was trying to buy a bungee for practices when I coach. It's literally a rubber band bungee. I, I picked this location right here because it's not messy in the background, but it's about to be messy. So let's go, let's go just take a look at this. I should probably get this kick drum out of the way. I got this pullback from OnTrack.com. Right, that's what it's called. I needed another pullback. Well, I already have two right now, but they're both occupied right now. And the reason I got this bag right here is because I wanted a bag where I could just toss tiny poles in to the bag and then take it to a random practice somewhere else that I'm not usually jumping at. This is not a competition bag. This is literally a practice bag. This bag goes as long as 13 feet, two inches. So it's not gonna fit anything super, super long in here. And I think it attracts to 10 feet, two inches. I'm typically on 13 sevens right now. All right, oh, okay. I wanted something like the Rockback Pole Vault bag that Bruce Caldwell made. So it comes with this little strap they can throw over your shoulder, which I honestly think will be really, like a really convenient thing to do. Is this the front? Wait, what the heck is this? Oh, this right here is the cap they put over the top of it. And then this should be the pole bag. Guys, it is literally a mess down here, I'm sorry. Can't show everything, but here's the bag on track.com. I also don't intend to put a corrugated pipe in here. It looks like it's about a four inch. Here's what I think should be next. I think we should take the bag and we should see how many poles I can stick in there. And then we'll put some tubes in there and see how many tubes I can fit in there. And the website said three to five poles. I'm gonna assume that's without the tubes and then three with the tubes. Okay, so I got my line of 13 foot poles right here. All 13 footers, 120 130, 140, and 135. And I also have a 13, 120 in one of these three tubes. Let's try and just see how many poles this bag actually fits. Four poles in. I think I might be able to get like three more poles in here. So I'm gonna take out my two 12 footers and then my last 13 footer and put it in here and see what happens. So as you can see, it's pretty snug in there right now. Might be able to sneak, sneak one more in there. I'll grab my last 13 foot pole. We'll see if we can put it in. Eight poles I could fit in here when it said it could only fit about five at the max. I mean, it doesn't have any protection whatsoever besides this. Let's see how well the cap goes on. This cap right here has a little zipper, I guess. It's literally just Velcro that holds on to the back. There's no strap and there's no clips at all. It's just the Velcro. All of these poles are 13 feet, right? You know, 13 two for spirit because you know, they put the extra two inches on. Look at how much extra room is in there. I think I could sneak a 13 seven pole in there and it'd be just fine. So we got this little zipper. The camera off. Are there any handles at all on this? There's no handles on this bag. So the only thing that you can really use to hold it up would be the little strap that they gave you. It looks like the strap is adjustable. It's just a plastic clip, nothing too heavy duty. Eight poles, see how it uh, feels. I don't know if that's just because of the tip being in the front or whatever, but it's definitely heavier towards the front. So you really have to hold on to the poles in the front so they don't go like whoop. It feels good. It just kind of worries me because these clips are plastic and we're gonna test and see how many tubes I can fit in here. So I have these tubes right here and I think the longest one's a 13.6. I think it's 13.9 because one of the poles that I had in that tube was a 13.6. There's three tubes on here. It's pretty snug. There's no way I'm gonna be able to fit any more on here. So let's see if we can put this over the front. My guess is I won't be able to. Uh, this tube right there will be just a little too long. Like I said, this tube held my 13.6 pole inside of it. Here's all of the Velcro beginning on the cap of it. And then right here, this is the Velcro on the inside. I'm gonna try and close it up. There's extra right there is where that uh, tube that holds the 13.6. Hi, welcome to transporting the poles. We're gonna take uh, the pole bag right here and we're gonna see how well it fits on the car. Alright. Oh. 
first practice of the season. Let's go get a few jumps in. Poles made it here safely. Let's just take a look and see how they look. Doesn't look like the wind pushed them back. I didn't feel any shakage. It just felt good overall. First off, there's a soft box right here and it's really, really bright. Final thoughts on the pole bag. It is fulfilling its exact purpose. Not only that, I was able to fit a 14 foot pole in there and it's tube, which means that the tube has to be, you know, a little bit longer than the pole is in order for the pole to fit inside of it. This pole bag exceeded my expectations. Will this bag ever go with me to a meet? No, this is solely a practice bag. Now, could it be a meat bag for you? Absolutely. I don't see why it couldn't be. For me, it's not going to be though. My normal pole bag has a corrugated pipe inside of it. Unless you have it completely full, it's really, really floppy. I don't want to have to take a whole pole bag just to keep it straight on the car. If I'm going to a practice, I already know exactly what I'm going to do, whether it be short runs, medium runs, or long runs. The pole bag that I take to my meets has about 10 to 11 poles inside of it. But this bag, I don't need to take a million poles to this to practices. And it's nice and light. It fits three tubes inside of it, which means that there's no dead space at all. The only thing that I would change is making sure that there's a handle on it so that way I can just kind of pick it up like this. And also I can put the straps through when I'm tying it to the car. Let's go take a look at these Essex stubbies. Several days later. Hi there, welcome to the second segment of this. Check this package out. Whoa. It came in this long-ish tube. Inside of here should be two Essex stubbies. Now, yes, I use spirit poles, and I will continue to use spirit poles, but these things just look so cool, and I'll be using them to coach. Let's open this up and see what's on the inside, all right? On the inside is just like the pole cap. I got it. I should just be able to pull it out. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. It... Hooey. Oh, nice. But let's undo the five foot one first. Oh yeah. Look at that, that's gonna be cool. Six recoil. Right there it just says Essex, no weight label at all. So let me just get this out of the way. Yes, I'm five one. It's just a little bit shorter than I am. Does this tip come off? Oh my goodness, this tip comes off. Look at that. That's cool. I've jumped on one Essex pole before, the 12 4 130, and I cleared 12 feet with it. Opening up the six foot one. This is the one I was really excited for. Actually, man, I'm... Whoa! Whoa! Oh my goodness! Oh, yo! This thing has way thicker. This has a really big mandrel. And it's the exact same thing, but there's a lot more grip to it, and it's... This one's six feet tall. Let's see if it focuses. Yeah, look at the size difference. That's crazy. Also, I guess you're, you're asking the question is, do these bend? No, they they don't bend. Nope, doesn't bend. Here, I, I guess I have to try a drill with it. This should be really funny. <laughs> you can't even do anything with that. <laughs> like I said, thank you guys for watching. Also, Team Spirit, let's go! As I'm holding Essex poles. Ugh. <sighs>